let's talk a little bit about QCAD. The first thing you're going to notice when you open QCAD are these grid settings here. They go up and down from your origin point. This little hash marker, this little crosshair here is your origin point. Let's scroll in using our mouse wheel. When you scroll in you'll see these little graduations change. So now we're at the one inch mark. And what these little dots are, these are little points that we can snap to. So if we want to, let's say for instance, create a square. This is our back button. We'll go to square. And coincidentally, you can also press escape to go back. Okay. So let's, let's make a rectangle or square. And we can snap to any of these grid points. We can snap to our origin, which is x0, y0. And we can bring this out. That would be a 10 by 10. Let's bring it down to a 5 by 5. Now here's the interesting thing about this program. We have a certain amount of information uh, down here as well. So we have a command line. So if we go back, I pressed escape a bunch of times, and we pick our rectangle tool, we can type in our first corner. This would look like a single um, line for X, like a 2.5, and then a comma for Y, 5 point. We'll hit enter. Okay, so we saw that little um, left-hand corner move. Now we can also use that to snap to one of these grid points. Now as we scroll in the grid points may get dense and they may not depending on what level we're at with the grid. We can choose our second corner. So let's say our second corner is going to be um, 5 and X and comma 8 and Y hit enter here we go now we can still come in here and we can you know use the use the grid to create some different squares now if we wanted to start trimming some of these features out we want to select a feature any feature really um, or, or for this exercise let's not select anything let's go up to modify now there's only a certain amount of things that we can do here and modify without having any geometry selected. So let's hit breakout segment. Let's use this feature and let's click this. Now I clicked it twice because we had the bottom of this square and the top of this square. But what it did is it trimmed these together. Now if we go back up to modify, let's use the round feature. This is a this is like a, a fillet feature and different CADs. CADs will call sometimes they'll call different same things by different names. So let's pick the round feature. Now if you look up here, it it asks you if you want to trim. Yes we do. Trim the features. And the radius. So let's put in 0.25 for quarter inch radius. Let's trim this one to there. This to there. This so there see if we start moving around what it can actually do okay now let's press escape a couple times let's go to the, the the circle function now we can do this where we it'll ask us our center of our circle we could type in one comma one enter as our center and we can just snap we can sketch we can change the um, diameter we could put in a a radius let's say of 0.5 or this will also do a math function so that would be a one inch hole let's try a math function so 2.322 divided by 2 and if you hit, hit enter it will actually make that 3.222 divided by 2 it, that will be your um, radius and 3.222 whatever I had in there would be your diameter so let's escape out of there now let's select this piece of geometry and hit delete 
Now let's say we want to put a little bit of text in here, okay? So I'm going to scroll in a little bit and we're going to select the text. Now let's try some text that we actually have to trim out. Um, we can pick our font here. We're going to leave it on Arial. Um, how big do we want it? One inch? Yeah, we can leave it at one inch. We'll try it bold. We'll try it italic too. We'll hit OK. Now it brings us up. If we put it here um, and press our escape key a couple times, it, it'll leave it there. Now the interesting thing about text is it's only reference geometry until we process it further. Some CAD systems will call it vectorize. Some will, will say explode the feature. This CAD is no different. It's going to want us to explode this feature. So let's select it. Now let's go up to modify. If you look, all these options are now highlighted. Let's scroll down to explode. I'm sorry, let's scroll down to explode. There we go. Okay, now if we if we press escape or anywhere in the uh, piece of geometry, it'll show. These are now, um, we can make a toolpath from this. This would be good geometry for a toolpath. Now we're not done here because we'll drop this whole O out. So what we really want to do is we want to be able to tab this out. So let's go up here. There's a couple different ways to do this. We can use this method where we actually draw a little tab. Or if we wanted to continue that, come all the way over here. And then we could go up to modify and we could go down to breakout segment. See how that works. I have too many pieces in here, I apologize. We're just deleting some of the features. Let's scroll in. Okay. Now we still have to do that letter P. The other way to do it would be to join lines. I like this feature, it's just so it's so slick. Just gonna draw a little rectangle in there. I'm gonna go to modify. I'm gonna go to breakout segment. The reason why I choose to do this, um, teach this method, is that breakout segment is going to help you. If you learn it, it's gonna help you with a lot of different geometry. Now this could be a really cool sign for um, the pool, <laughs> but this would this is a method of bringing in text and tabbing it out correctly. And that's it.